Good day, folks. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Once again, uh, today we have with us uh, Atif Qureshi. Came to Canada 2010. Uh, after a brief uh, working, uh, he kind of started his own company over here, and he'll talk more about that. So, without having me to introduce him any further, let us get started. So, uh, Atif, if you could get started by telling us a little bit about yourself first. Thank you, Saad, and uh, hello, everyone. Uh, this is Atif Qureshi. I'm an IT consultant slash entrepreneur. I'm running a company by the name of Phenologics. Uh, we are offering software development services to multiple companies in Canada as well as in USA. Uh, we have an offshore office in Lahore, having a team of more than 30 experts now, and we are growing. Alhamdulillah. Uh, I moved to Canada in 2010, started my career with TD Bank as IT consultant, and then worked with CIBC, and then I got a very good opportunity uh, to work with IBM before uh, opening my own setup. Uh, prior to coming to Canada, I spent most of my time uh, in Middle East and mainly in UAE, Bahrain, and Saudi Arabia. So basically, that's uh, pretty much of my background. And uh, yeah, Saad, if you have any question. So in uh, the Middle East, uh, you were also in the banking sector, or uh, what was your profile over there? Uh, no, actually, most of my time I spent as a on the other side of the IT, where you provide consultancies to the bank. So I was with SBM, I was with GBM, which are the premier partners of IBM in that region. Uh, they are almost like uh, IBM, but they they are not legally they are not supposed to call them IBM, but they are they they are huge in in size. Uh, GBM represents the Gulf business machine, and South, uh, SBM represents uh, Saudi business machine. So these two companies are majorly playing and offering IBM services to multiple banks. Yeah, as my customers, uh, there were different banks, there were different um, mobile companies like uh, telecom companies. So this is a major sector where uh, IT invest, uh, investments are really heavy. So uh, you mentioned about the fact that you spent four years, uh, five years working over here in the industry, and then you started doing your own work. uh why and what realization led you to do that and take that path uh, asad uh, it, it was always there you know uh, the entrepreneurship doesn't come like overnight you know it, it it has to be inside you like are you ready to take the challenge and there is always a right time to jump onto that so uh, you can say i was learning throughout my career different things you have you have to look after certain financial aspects of uh, opening up your company because uh i am a firm believer that uh, no business will give you any return you have to be ready i'm i'm telling you that none, you will not get any return at least for one year so this is a big big uh, question mark for everybody to really think about it because it it's not something like you start expecting uh, it's not a stock exchange or any investment it's it's your you're completely changing your career uh, it has its own demand you have to put all your days and nights into it before you can start or expect, start getting anything or even expect anything from from your own business one of the bigger challenges uh, that i've uh, seen with folks who started their companies over here is the aspect of uh, finding business in canada uh, how have you circumvented that portion see this is very uh, uh, it's a very interesting question actually uh, and and very very challenging task to find a business but uh sometimes you are lucky you have you always always people people sometimes uh kind of uh, take it easy that you know uh, going after your own circle may not help uh, uh, maybe not much but honestly speaking you have to start from your home you have to start from your family friends you have to start from your friends and i have been really lucky that they were always with me they were they, they knew my capabilities but uh, it, that's not enough like they have to be they, they really Uh, they have to understand that you know if you can deliver it so once they that element was there uh, i would say i was really lucky in the beginning that my friends gave me some small projects here and there and then uh, i'm still growing with some of my very close friends uh, together and we are working hard now alhamdulillah we have a customer base in usa so i'm out of that personal circle business anymore uh, the second thing like you can get one or two customers in the beginning uh, by luck or as a beginner luck you can say but after that it's all about your quality even if your best friend is not happy with what you are delivering uh, don't don't even expect and anybody will give you a single dollar business because they become your reference later on they become your uh, launching pad later on they can talk for you that you know just uh, go for this company and you will have your problem solved because any business is there uh, only it's surviving just because they're problem uh, solving certain problems right so if you are doing that well 
after that it's just like a roller coaster that you know people start asking because everyone needs uh, good quality services at affordable rates and this is what we do um, you know mostly people here in it services they were doing mostly uh, onshore uh, kind of uh, model uh, we we developed a hybrid concept that okay we can give you teams here we can give you teams offshore or you can have a mix so that really worked well for me and uh, i think as a as a leader of the company you need to have uh, in depth knowledge of what you are doing because initially you will be wearing multiple hats you have to do uh, maybe a little bit of uh, implementation yourself you have to tell them as an architect tell your customer that what you are doing uh, you need to guide your team in different directions so starting from uh, you know putting each and everything in place hr marketing everything so if you are ready for that kind of a challenge uh, yes everything will work for you it's it's perfect, not something perfect. that you will just run one you, you will be expert in one role uh, unfortunately uh, i'm not discouraging but i'm just uh, guiding here that wearing multiple hats will be very very important for for the success or getting more customers uh, in in your field and and just if you don't mind me asking uh, what are the services that you offer as a company yeah uh we uh, obviously you have to focus initially that this is what we do i mean you cannot uh, kind of uh, drag yourself into everything then if you're doing everything i believe you then you're doing nothing so so you have to be focused so uh, and i i focused again on my abilities first of all that you know what i can deliver and then i can extend the uh, you know uh, i can extend the help of my team so if i know what i'm doing it is very easy to to convert that lead into a successful customer and tell them this is what we are doing so basically i, I was a, uh, originally a software developer myself so i started offering uh, these services to different uh, clients that th this is what we can do for you uh, we can develop applications for you uh, there were certain uh, startups with limited budgets they they needed our help so we we went after them we talked to them uh i attended certain conferences especially collision which is uh, dedicated for startups so what happened after that you know with a small team we were very focused and we were obviously as i said quality no compromise so we were uh, we were really really not in a mood to burn any customer because we could not afford that and and we would never be in that uh, mood so the basic thing is uh, you need to uh, gauge your capabilities uh count on them build the team on that and then you can expand so in in short basically we are doing software services development services in different domains uh, java dot net uh, and and all all uh, different multiple uh, domains now and these days you cannot survive without mobile application development when i started my entrepreneurship career i had no idea how mobile applications were done but you know uh, underlying uh, philosophy is same that it's at the end of the day it is an application for a different platform um but uh, now alhamdulillah we are offering multiple services uh, you can say cloud management you can say software development because once you grow your own customers demand something and you you work with them uh, you, uh, like uh, you you work on their requirements in detail with them you help them so after certain period of time you you are they are no more your customers so basically you work as a partner with them and try to solve their problems and and take them into you know uh, next step uh, into into it development or or whatever their goals for certain uh, year amazing, amazing. Yeah, thank, uh, you thank, so, you so, thank you so thank you thank you so much uh, uh, adivai for giving this little introduction about the company and about uh, your journey over here in canada i'm sure the folks who are watching and have any uh, aspirations for pursuing to be an entrepreneur can take away uh, a lot from this discussion hopefully in the future we'll try to do a more deeper dive discussion with you but for today thank you so much for your time thank you thank you sir you're welcome